you listed the long list of things that uh, have been important to me over the last few years, Phil, but you missed one big one, and that was my family. My wife Sue and David and Daniel and Marilyn. Um, all three kids are, have been very supportive in this decision process. Um, and I'm also going to a little side note here. Uh, you know, I'm, you're going to hear me talk a minute about the brain drain and losing educated and skilled youth in our state of our state. But I'm here to announce that our oldest son David and his wife Kelly, who have been living in Boulder, Colorado, are coming back to Michigan in two weeks and teaching. <laughs> That Boulder. <laughs> All right, with the continuing headwinds buffeting the Michigan economy and the growing frustrations of concerned citizens over the lack of vision, courage, and leadership in our state government, I believe it's time we send somebody to Lansing who will put doing the right things and doing them correctly ahead of getting reelected. Therefore, effective today, I am humbly but earnestly announcing formally that I'm going to run for the state, Michigan State House of Representatives, 65th District. I think it's time for Michigan to win. I'm tired of losing. I think we're all tired of losing. Losing jobs, losing property values, losing income, losing our talented and educated youth, and frankly, losing our stature in the nation. It's time we sent people in Michigan willing to make the tough choices, fight the right battles, and stop talking about change, but actually leading change so that we can retool, rebuild, and revive this great state that we live in. Though the formula is actually quite simple, the pathway is fraught with deeply entrenched obstacles. Michigan has become too, far too frequent an occupier of the bottom of the list of the kinds of things that we would agree are attractive to our lifestyles and what we hold dear in terms of values. We're tired of losing. Developing a shared vision, defining precisely what that means, identifying those things that would prevent success, and then executing strategies and their supporting tactics to make that vision come true is precisely what we need in Michigan so that we can win. Jobs, jobs, and jobs. That's what everybody's list of priorities. It's hard to argue with that. But jobs are an outcome of an environment friendly to business. The role of government is not to create jobs. It is to create an environment that is stable, predictable, honest, consistent and attractive to the deployment of capital so that businesses can be successful. Simply put, Michigan must establish itself as business friendly and the best metric for, for proving that we're successful is when the rest of the world acknowledges our open for business sign. We must change our image of being unfriendly to business and I'm confident and encouraged that if we send the right people we do the right thing to do things right and then do the right things we will accomplish that goal speaking of honesty and consistency we must hold accountable our leaders in Lansing and demand the return of integrity to our government this is accomplished by vigilant process checking in process checking in our world to ensure that actions are consistent with rhetoric there is no longer time for obstructionism, for non-value added partisanship, or placing the prospects of re-election ahead of doing what is right. And lastly, in my heart, and most importantly, we need to understand what it takes to keep, to nurture, and to attract families to Michigan. Public safety, a solid foundational education system, affordable and accessible health care, and the hope and expectation that of being able to economically thrive are all essential to this objective. With strong families as our foundation and a structure of streamlined and integrity-driven government, we will create an environment where capital is attracted and free markets thrive. And the natural outcome? 
Giles. Now, since launching, launching this effort uh, a little less than two weeks ago, we have been incredibly blessed with an impressive list of humbling yet just awesome responses from people. We've assembled an incredibly talented and experienced, passionate and passionate volunteer organization. We have literally listened to over 350 people. We have secured 194 formal endorsements, and we've raised in excess of $50,000. <laughs> We're off to a good start. And the plan is to execute this campaign with the same goal-driven, integrity-based principles that we plan to carry to Lansing. I look forward to the honor and privilege of serving the people of the 65th District of Michigan. It's time for Michigan to win.